Good morning to everyone. Uh, Ms. Penny Lo, Dr. Janil, Mr. Zainal Safari, uh, Mr. Chua from the PUB, the Assistant Chief Executive, Mr. Peng also from PUB, Director of Infocoms, Mr. Go from PUB, and the residents from uh, Pasiris and also from Pongo. And also all our community partners and volunteers from all over Singapore. A very good morning to everyone as we gather here this morning to mark World Water Day at Lorong Halus. World Water Day is a United Nations initiative held annually on the 22nd of March to highlight the importance of our freshwater resources. Why fresh water? Because we have a lot of seawater in the oceans and the seas, so you can't drink it, you can't use it to water plants and to grow plants. It's a fresh water and good fresh water that's important to us and helps us to maintain and sustain human life and animal life on this world. The international theme this year is water and food security. Now, you may ask, what is, got what, what is water and food security got to do with each other? Take these statistics as an example. To produce one kilogram of beef requires 15,000 liters of water, while one kilogram of wheat, which you use to make a bread, uses up 1,500 liters of water. And today, the lack of water or drought remains the single most common source of severe food shortages in developing countries. So when the rain fails, when the rivers dry up, then people cannot grow food, there's no food crops, animals die, and people also don't have food to eat. And the challenge of food security will only become more severe. The world's population today is about 7 billion, and this will grow by 2050 to 9.3 billion. Although Singapore has built a robust system to ensure that we have enough water through our four national taps, we will need collective efforts of everyone to continue to make sure that we use water well and conserve it. Simple acts such as making sure that the water you use at home is only what you need. For example, putting symbols and, uh, in your taps and shower heads and then don't leave the taps running while you're washing the dishes or when you're doing a shower or brushing your teeth. All this can help to make a difference. Now what is our objective? Today, every person in Singapore on average uses 154 litres per, per day. So each person in Singapore uses 154 litres of water per day. That's quite a lot. And what we're trying to do is in 10 years' time to reduce that. And our target is 147 litres per day in 10 years' time. So we must also do our part to make sure that our waters remain clean. Because if you have water sources and the water sources become polluted or dirty, then you can't use them anymore either. So the PUB has got this active, beautiful and clean waters program or ABC waters program. And this way, we keep the water clean at the same time, it's beautiful, it enhances our environment and we can also make use of the waterways for our active life, sports and for enjoyment. Where we are standing now is Lorong Halus, Lorong Halus wetlands. Not so many years ago, when I first became the MP for Pasiris area, this place was an active landfill. So refuse from all over Singapore was brought here to Loro Halus and dumped here. But now you see that it is one of our active, beautiful and clean water sites. And the water quality here has improved considerably because of the work that PUB has done and this wetland. So Serangoon Reservoir, which you see here, is today Singapore's 17th water reservoir. There's a lot of work, some of which you can't see, which PUB has done to make sure that the water can be used. There's a 6.4 kilometer long wall and it's 18 meters deep. So you can imagine 18 meters, that's almost 60 feet down. 18 meters along here 
and it's a special wall, a bentonite wall, to make sure that any leachate water from this landfill does not creep into the reservoir so that the water can be used. So it's 6.4 kilometers long, 18 meters deep into the ground. So you can't see the wall, it's actually gone down into the ground. And it's the largest wall of its kind in Singapore. At the same time, Lorong Halus wetland also doubles up as a recreational and educational space for all the community. So we now have a program for secondary schools here called the ABC Waters Learning Trail at Lorong Halus Wetland. And the learning trail teaches participants about the history of this place, how the wetland plants help to treat the water passing through, the water quality and human impact on the environment. And it's really a very nice cooperative effort between the PUB and community partners, run by the community for the community. So today, we have enthusiastic facilitators from Serangoon Junior College, West Serangoon Junior College. Hello. From Meridian Junior College. Where are they? They're probably out there somewhere. And Systems on Silicon Manufacturing Company Limited, or SSMC. Where are the SSMC guys? Welcome, welcome. So they'll be leading the trail for those who have signed up to go on this trail walk after. So I'm very happy to welcome SSMC, the newest addition to the family of adopters here. And they will be using this trail to increase environmental awareness among both its staff and all the community partners. Other organizations have also taken their own initiative to do their part for our environment. We have Greendale Secondary Schools NPCC. Where is Greendale NPCC? I think they're back there somewhere. I saw them when they were coming in. And they will conduct patrols along Pongo Waterway and at Lorong Halus Wetland. We have grassroots volunteers in the CERT of patrol at Pongo Serangoon Reservoir Scheme also to conduct patrols and clean up at the Serangoon Reservoir. So it's a community helping the community to keep the place nice and clean and pleasant for all of us. So I hope many of you here today will also find your own ways to interact with and enjoy the water and environment and perhaps you too will come forward and volunteer to help keep the place clean and enjoyable for everyone. Earlier this morning, I was on the other side of the river, of this reservoir at Congo Waterway, to flag off a walk for water by 1,100 residents of the Congo Division and also alumni of the Outward Bounce of Singapore. So I was very happy to see so many participants coming to enjoy the waterway this morning. The alumni for Outward Bound School are covering a distance of 6 kilometers this morning. So why 6 kilometers? The 6 kilometers has a very special significance because in developing countries, that's the average distance that people have to walk to get water every day. So in developing countries, people typically have to walk 6 kilometers to get water just for their everyday use. For us here in Singapore, you turn on the tap, you get the water. But people have to walk six kilometers a day, and mostly women have to walk six kilometers a day just to get water for their everyday use. So this shows how precious water is. Over here at Lorong Halus, most of us will be doing a one kilometer walk for water along the Firefly Trail in Saragu East Dam. And this trail will be facilitated by members of the Nature Society of Singapore. And some of you who have been here at night will have seen fireflies along this trail. Now, fireflies have a particular significance because this shows how clean the water is. Because fireflies like clean water. And if the water is not clean, they won't be there. So this is a very good indication of how clean the water is. There are also otters, dragonflies and other bird species found around Serangoon Reservoir. And this also points to how much the environment here has been improved and they're now here for all of us to enjoy. So I hope that all of you will enjoy Loro Halus and the Pongo Serangoon Reservoirs and will volunteer to keep this place clean in order to support this growing biodiversity here so that all of us can enjoy. 
So as we mark World Water Day today, and as we go about our daily lives, let's all do our part to conserve, value and protect our precious water resources so we not only continue to enjoy water, but that the water will continue to nourish us. So thank you very much and enjoy your water.